Breaking news coming in. Let's welcome to the show Congressman Warren Davidson from House Financial Services. Sir, the breaking news is this. St. Louis uh, Circuit Attorney uh, Kim Gardner just resigned. She had faced a push to get her to be ousted from office for dropping cases, thousands of cases, for not prosecuting crime. What is your reaction to this news? I think it's welcome progress. I mean, you, you know, you look at uh, Attorney General Eric Greitens is now Senator Eric Greitens uh, for a reason. People expect law and order. And you look at this woke and weaponized government, Soros funded DAs aren't prosecuting. And we passed a bill already this Congress to say, hey, if we're going to give you federal dollars, give us a report and say, are you actually prosecuting crimes? People knew she wasn't doing that. That's why her office had massive turnover. And frankly, she resigned really to avoid the state legislator, the state legislature in Missouri from stripping the powers of the office because she wasn't doing her job. Congressman, minority communities are getting in an, they're in an uproar. They are getting hurt by these weak on crime policies. Does George Soros understand this? Yeah, I mean, that's the scary thing. There are people that don't get the implications of these policies. And then there's like the majority of people that. Well, okay. I mean, I see the implications of those policies, but they're really good on these other issues. So I kind of will, I'll go along with them. The really scary thing is the people that are for the policies because of the implications. We're seeing this soft on crime judges here in Hamilton County, just outside of Cincinnati. You know, I have the west side of Cincinnati, and we're seeing when you get a weak judge that won't enforce the law, uh, it really causes problem for the communities, and you know, yeah. people are fleeing urban areas because of this. How is it social justice? How is it helping civil rights when a minority uh, family has a member murdered because a repeat felon was let out by a George Soros-backed prosecutor? Yeah, the real question is, why would they be for this kind of discord? And, you know, when are we going to change course in these urban areas in particular or with these elected uh, DAs? And yeah. I think the good thing here is it gives the governor an opportunity to appoint somebody who's going to actually enforce the law. So here's the other story. We have, we're calling it, Evening Edit is calling retail deserts. Retail deserts where retailers are fleeing. 20 fled in Nancy Pelosi's district of San Francisco. We're talking big names like Whole Foods, Gap, uh, Marshalls, H&M, Nordstrom, Saks. The, now they're leaving. But now we've got stories coming in like Nancy Pelosi is ramping up her use of private jets flying around on private airplanes. Her campaign spends tens of thousands of dollars on that. Climate czar John Kerry also, he's re realizing, finding out he's using private planes way more than people realize, is, realize flying around the world. Look at that. Look where he's flying to. He's been doing it since he was secretary of state. He flies like 27 times a year under the Obama White House. That's more than once a month. So when you see this, these kinds of stories coming on, are they paying attention to what voters, the voters out there have to deal with every day in their daily lives? Well, definitely not. I mean, my problem isn't that they're flying on private planes. It's that they champion one thing and do another thing. I would rather them change their policies. They're pushing all these Green New Deal policies. They'll fly in on a private jet, talk about the Green New Deal uh, and the importance of bicycles and battery-powered cars while they pull away in a motorcade, get on a private jet surrounded by security with armed guards while they're trying to take weapons away from everybody else. I want their policies to change more than I want their actions to change. What hypocrisy. Yeah, who do they think they are? The Many critics are asking that. Why are they so above it, but we have to live and be punished by their policies when they don't have to live under them? Yeah, rules for thee and not for me. That seems the mantra. COVID certainly highlighted that. And you see, uh, you know, the Green New Deal highlighting that in other ways. You'll see people, you know, I remember one of my colleagues, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, talking about, you know, kale while eating cheeseburgers. You know, you know, newsflash, Americans want real meat. They don't want fake processed Got meat. It. They want... They want that. Congressman Davison, well, you brought the beef tonight. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us.